Symfony Security Tutorial, Building a Registration User Form for Authentication Hi everyone. In this video, we explore the robust security features that Symfony offers to fortify your web applications. Starting with the installation of the indispensable security bundle. Let's initiate our WAMP server and ensure all services are running. As demonstrated in the previous video, We've set up our database named video underscore db with the video table. Now we proceed to the next step. After the installation of the security bundle, a configuration file named security.yaml is automatically generated, as illustrated. Moving on to the next stage, which involves the user aspect. To enhance the security of your application, it's crucial to establish a user class. This class should implement the user interface and is commonly a doctrine entity. Alternatively, you have the option to utilize a specialized security user class. Simplifying the process, the most convenient way to generate a user class is by employing the make user command provided by the maker bundle. Upon executing the command, you'll be prompted to answer a series of questions. Upon successful completion, you'll receive a confirmation message and two new files, namely user.php and userrepository.php, will be generated. Additionally, the command creates user.php and security.yaml files. Then don't forget to create the tables by creating and running a migration using the command php bin slash console make migration and php bin slash console doctrine migrations migrate. To ensure a smooth operation and verify that everything is functioning seamlessly, you can check your database. You'll notice the creation of a new table named user, complete with its respective columns. Moving forward to the next phase, registering the user, hashing passwords. In numerous applications, users are required to log in using a password. To address this, the security bundle offers functionality for password hashing and verification. As a first step, we ensure that our user class is configured to implement the password authenticated user interface. As illustrated, all necessary configurations have been successfully completed. With Symfony now aware of your password hashing preferences, the make registration form maker command becomes instrumental. It aids in configuring the registration controller and incorporating features such as email address verification. So let's run the command, composer require symphonycast slash verify email bundle.
The command has been executed successfully. Now, let's proceed with the second one. When executing the command, you'll be prompted to answer a series of questions. Upon successful completion, you'll receive a confirmation message, and three new files will be generated. Additionally, the command updates user.php file. Let's inspect our database as indicated, our user table is currently empty, and Symfony is running. Returning to our code, we have a registration controller class with a route slash register that redirects to the non-existent route profiler underscore home. We need to address this by creating a new route slash test and a function named main within the controller. This function will render the base.html.twig view. We can access this file and make updates, for instance, adding the text hello world within the body block. The subsequent step involves updating the route and the registration controller to use the new route test instead of profiler underscore home. We duplicate our slash register route and test it in the browser. Oops! Our registration form appears. We input an email, say test at gmail.com, set a password, and click register. Success! The slash test route is displayed, showcasing the hello world block. Now, we navigate to our database to verify the new user. There it is, test at gmail.com, complete with a hashed password. That concludes the process.